please, before attempting any of these projects, if you are under 18 years old, please get adult supervision, as some of the tools and materials needed can cause harm. Thank you. Oh, hey there. That's right, you guys, uh, you guys are probably wanting another episode. Uh, give me one second. My name is Ryan Earl. I am an amateur filmmaker and the co-founder of an independent film group known as Blue Steel Cinema. I have spent hours of my spare time learning of new ways and techniques to create accurate replicas from things such as movies, television shows, and video games. Now, I will share these with you. Step by step, I can show the viewers how to create their very own props and costume pieces using simple materials and a low budget. This is Craftsmanship. Hey everyone, welcome back and thanks again for tuning in to Craftsmanship. Now we've been contemplating what we were going to do for our next build on this episode. And now, we believe we have a project for you that you're going to enjoy. It may be a little complex in the beginning, but it's going to turn out great. We have been able to see such things as films, video games, and books. All sorts of forms of futuristic transportation. All the way from flying cars, to spaceships, to even hoverboards. But looking back, there is one device that probably stands out above all the rest. That being the jetpack. Alright, let's get to looking at our list and then on to the building. First, you're going to need some EVA foam. Second, a piece of poster board or possibly white cardboard. Spray paint. Then, you're going to need a PVC pipe. Some rubber tubing velcro strips, some silver rivets, scissors, hot glue, and an exacto knife. To start, take out your tape measure and measure the length between your shoulders. Go from shoulder tip to shoulder tip. Then measure from the top of your waist up to the top of your shoulders. Once you have the measurements, Mark them on a piece of cardboard or poster board and draw out a square that equals those measurements. When you have the square, start drawing out the design for your jetpack. It should look something a little like this. Once you have your cardboard stencil of your jetpack, then lay it down on the EVA foam and cut it out. This will serve as the back frame for the jetpack. After you have the frame made and cut out, Measure out two strips of foam that are 3.5 inches wide by 15 inches long. Cut them out and then cut on one edge for each strip a diagonal section at 30 degrees. After you have that made, glue those on and then these will act as supports for the booster engines. Now take your PVC pipe and measure out the length you desire for the engines. Once you have it, use an electric saw to cut it. I used a miter saw in order to get a cleaner cut. But please, remember to be responsible when you are using these tools, as they can cause harm. After you have your engines cut, measure around the pipes in order to create a cover for it. Using the foam, make sure that your cover wraps well around the pipe. For a design, I created a scale light cover in order to make it more sci-fi. But you can create whatever design you want. Once you have the pipes covered, then take out the engines and give them a nice layer of white spray paint. Then take the main jetpack frame and do the same. While you are waiting for the paint to dry, start cutting out extra pieces that will give added detail to the jetpack. You can go from things like extra engines, vents, navigation flaps, and extra plating. Afterwards, once the paint is dry, Paint the engines and the frame of the jetpack in the colors that you want for it. For me, I went with a silver for the frame and black for the engines in order to give it a modern look. Then, paint the extra pieces that you made for the jetpack with the white paint. And then afterwards, after it has dried, finish it off with the paint color that you wish. Now, glue the engines to the frame of the jetpack. Make sure that when you do, you keep the engines flush with the edges of the frame. Afterwards, you should have something that looks like this. Now, 
glue on the extra detailed pieces that you made for the pack. For some added detail, I also put on the rubber tubing and the silver rivets to give it a more creative element. After all this has been added, now take the nylon strips and measure them to the same length as your jetpack. Then take two strips for a belt and measure them so that they will fit around you. Then using crafting foam, cut strips the same length of each strap and glue them on. After you have constructed the straps for your jetpack, now glue them onto the pack itself. Make sure to put them in places where the pack will fit comfortably. Now, connect two straps together on each side in order to give it a backpack looking shape. And then, using the Velcro, create a buckle system that will attach it to your chest. After all that is said and done, you are finished. There you go. Now we want to make this clear that for this project, you don't have to use the exact same design that you saw on this episode. In fact, we encourage you to please come up with your own ideas and use this template as a way in order to make them. Well, we're glad that you were able to tune back into craftsmanship and we hope we'll see you next time. Uh, is that supposed to be happening?